SQL Server 2012 is a major step for us then toward this new world of data and toward realizing the modern data platform. In my introductory keynote here today, I'm going to talk about three themes. And over the course of the day, you'll see these three themes illuminated uh, and uh, expanded upon through demonstrations uh, um, and uh, demos uh, uh, lectures you'll hear later on in the day and give you more specific, concrete examples of how these work and how you can use uh, these capabilities. But I'll talk about three themes here and introduce them this morning. The first is mission-critical confidence. What do we mean by mission-critical confidence? We mean SQL Server is ready for your data center because it has high availability. Uh, because of the new disaster recovery capabilities, because of the high levels of performance that we can provide, because of the security and the compliance. We'll talk about breakthrough insight, some of the BI innovations uh, uh, that we had in 2008, in 2008 R2, and now continue in 2012. Uh, things like uh, Power Pivot and Power View. Finally, we'll talk about cloud on your terms, giving you a choice to deploy data platform capabilities on your premises as well as in private cloud, as well as in Microsoft public cloud or Windows Azure platform. SQL Server 2012 has been several years in the making, and the SQL Server 2012 brings to market 170 new features that weren't available in previous editions uh, of this product. We're not going to have time today to go through the entire list of the features that you see here. In fact, there are others uh, not listed. This is just to give you an impression of some of the capabilities that we're bringing to market. But we will highlight some of the more important of these uh, capabilities as we go through the investment themes uh, in 2012. I also want to point out that even though this is a new release of a new version of our software, this software has already been stress tested in the market by hundreds of customers who participate with us each time we release a new version of the software. These are customers that have spent the last months using SQL Server. They've used SQL Server now in production. Uh, in a few cases, we'll give you some specific examples of how they use them in production. So that when you are ready to upgrade to SQL Server 2012, you can be assured that SQL Server 2012 has not only the capabilities that we'll talk about to do new and better things uh, for you and with your data, but also has the levels of quality that you can come to expect uh, from our product. So hundreds of customers worldwide already getting value out of SQL Server 2012. I want to turn now to the first of the three investment areas that we focused on in this new release of the product, mission-critical confidence. SQL Server has come a long way in the many years that we've been in market. Many of you perhaps started out using SQL Server as a departmental database. Uh, now, more and more of our customers, most of our customers, in fact, find that SQL Server is their mission-critical database. It's a database standard and one that can be used as easily in the data center for a mission-critical workload as for departmental workloads. And SQL Server 2012 brings some additional capabilities for mission-critical confidence. What do we mean by mission-critical confidence? We've had the opportunity to talk to customers around the world about what their expectations are of us on the mission-critical front. And what those customers have told us is that four themes are important to them for mission critical. The first is required knives and data protection. This is about high availability of disaster recovery. Next, blazing fast performance, being able to return queries faster and faster as the pace of business goes faster and faster. Also, mission critical confidence is about security and compliance, compliance with government standards, compliance with your organization's standards ever more important to uh, uh, the world of data. And finally, peace of mind. Not just knowing that the software does what it does, but that it is backed by Microsoft and an ecosystem of 70,000 uh, ecosystem partners building solutions around our database platform. I want to go through each of these and talk now about a few of the things you'll find in 2012 for Mission Critical Confidence. Starting on the left with the required nines and data protection, 
SQL Server, even before 2012, is able to get up to six nines of uptime. But we're introducing in 2012 uh, a set of capabilities that we call Always On for high availability. Always On uh, includes active readable secondaries uh, for high utilization of your hardware assets uh, and high uptime. It also includes availability groups and failover cluster instances for fast failover both at the database level and at the instance level. So you'll find that uptime with SQL Server 2012 is better than ever uh, and failover times are two times faster than SQL Server 2012 with the same ease of use that you've come to expect in the past. Performance is even better. Performance is better because we have X-Velocity in-memory technologies those of you who are familiar with some of the capabilities uh, in 2008 and 2008 are two. We know that we introduced in-memory technologies uh, for analytics in 2008 and are two. Uh, now with X-Velocity in-memory technologies, we bring uh, a column store index straight into the database engine for the data warehouse workload. So that if you're deploying a data warehouse, you'll find performance gains on the order of 10 times to 100 times uh, for data warehouse workload. So blazing fast performance is one of the features that we want to highlight. For organizational compliance and security, let me talk first about security. Um, for security patching, we have Windows Server Core Edition support. Windows Server Core is our operating system with the smallest footprint. And if you deploy SQL Server on Windows Server Core, you'll find that you will have 50 to 60 percent faster patching so that the security you need can be done with much faster maintenance than ever before. And we're also adding more built-in auditing so that the compliance uh, is better than before. And finally, I mentioned peace of mind with 70,000 partners with premier support offered by Microsoft and with new capabilities in System Center. Uh, System Center Advisor, for example, provides for remote monitoring and diagnostics. Um, peace of mind is also something that we like to highlight. In each of the investment areas, I'm going to highlight a, a case study. And in the case of mission critical confidence, I want to talk about Home Shopping Network. Um, home, home Shopping Network is pretty well known in the United States, maybe less so uh, here in Europe, but it is a multi-channel retailer. Uh, they sell both through the television and they sell on the internet. On the television, 96 million households every day tune into Home Shopping Network uh, to buy a variety of household items uh, through the television. You can call into their 800 number and, and buy products on the, on the TV. Um, they're also a well-known internet uh, retailer, especially in the United States. They're a top 10 e-commerce retailer. And because their business is on 24 by 7, um, they can afford to have no downtime. They are one of the earliest adopters of SQL Server, and they've especially taken advantage of SQL Server always on for high availability. I want to highlight two areas where they've, they've adopted SQL Server always on um, to get them the high availability that they need. The first is in customer forums. Every day as customers shop for their products, uh, many of them will come on to their internet site and participate in customer forums. Probably 2,000 customers a day will chat on these forums about products that they have for sale. And you might wonder, well, in what sense is that mission critical? It's mission critical in the sense that those forums allow customers to answer for each other questions about the product and also generate excitement about the product. And they find that when those forums go down or when technical issues arise in those forums, their call center queues um, go uh, see spikes in demand and that's very costly for them to deal with. So having these customer forums both reduces their costs and generates excitement for their, their product. And they've used Always On to maintain those customer forums and their failover times in serving those customer forums have gone from 40 seconds to under 3 seconds. They also use SQL Server 2012 now <coughs> to power their procurement management systems. They have a procurement management system that hosts over uh, 400, I believe, uh, suppliers worldwide, and that's their main channel of communication with their suppliers. Uh, that is also a mission-critical application for them, also now running on SQL Server 2012 with failover time.
times under three seconds uh, with the availability groups that they've provisioned. The success that they have had uh, so far has allowed them to standardize the Super Server 12 as their foundation for major initiatives going forward. And we expect by June of this year, uh, they're going to have all of it, uh, hsn.com using SQL Server. Uh, and when that solution is fully deployed, they'll have over three terabytes of data uh, on SQL Server. I want to go to the second major investment area for SQL Server 2012, which is Breakthrough Insight. And this includes all of our business intelligence, uh, innovations, and as well some of what we uh, talk about in the day warehouse workload. <coughs> At Microsoft, we oftentimes will talk about business intelligence in terms of democratizing BI, bringing BI to the front lines, to your information workers, to the masses. Uh, we don't believe that BI is a purview of a few data scientists. We believe that the insights you can get out of data uh, are insights that everybody in your company can use and can make everybody in your company more effective. In SQL Server 2008, we introduced Power Pivot, which is an analysis uh, capability that allows you to bring millions of rows of data uh, in memory for people to do uh, analysis and then share that out through SharePoint. And in SQL Server 2012, we follow that up with PowerView. Uh, PowerView is a browser-based uh, uh, tool for data visualization and data discovery. You'll see some demonstrations later today uh, of PowerView, and it provides for some stunning visualizations of your data uh, uh, as never before. And this is something that can really help people every day make use of the data uh, inside of a corporation to make better decisions. Uh, as IT professionals, I think you realize that uh, data, though, isn't just about uh, making it broadly available to everyone in your company. Data has to be managed and secured. So the second theme in Breakthrough Insight is what we call managed self-service BI. Uh, another way we'd like to put this is it's insight with oversight. Uh, you're letting people have the benefit of the data, but you're securing this precious asset of your company and making sure that it's used properly and within the compliance uh, rules that we have. So we continue to invest in enterprise security and governance uh, capabilities through SharePoint and through SQL Server. So we have managed self-service BI as the second theme. Third is credible, consistent data. Data is only useful if you can rely on it to be credible and consistent. So we have in SQL Server 2012, data quality services being introduced to help you maintain high levels of data quality uh, and cleanse your data. We have a new BI semantic model uh, for increased productivity, data accuracy. It's all built into the, to the product. And we even have uh, access to the Windows Azure Marketplace where you can buy uh, third-party data from trusted uh, third-party data vendors. So if you want uh, third-party data to help cleanse your data, you can reach out to the Windows Azure Marketplace. One example of this, uh, for instance, is if you have uh, customer data that you collect yourselves uh, and you're not sure if all of that is correct, you go to the Windows Azure Marketplace and you can, in fact, download third-party uh, address uh, data sets, compare that to your own internal data sets for addresses, and use that as a vehicle a mechanism for cleansing your address data. Finally, in Breakthrough Insight, I want to talk about big data analytics and scalable data warehouse. Um, data stores, data warehouses have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. And now Microsoft, with SQL Server 2012, can handle data sets over 600 terabytes of data uh, with parallel data warehouse clients that we have in, in market. So over time, we have dramatically scaled our ability to handle increasingly large uh, data sets. Um, we have, in addition to the appliances, we have reference configurations for fast time to market if you want to build your own reference configurations to help you build uh, large data warehouses. Um, so from large data sets to small data sets, um, our BI backed up with data warehouse capabilities that you need. We also are investing in big data, and I want to take a moment now to uh, take a detour and talk a little bit about our big data strategy. How many of you heard of uh, big data happening in the marketplace? How <coughs> many of you have heard of, of the big data trends? Uh, probably heard many different perspectives from many different vendors about what's going on in big data. So I'm going to turn now to share Microsoft's perspective 
on big data.